Hello, in this session we can understand mobile IP network. In the previous session we had seen uh, GSM network and its varied applications, uh, call routing and uh, different uh, network identifiers. So let's understand uh, what do you mean by mobile IP and what are the requirements, what are the problems and a working of mobile IP. So uh, you see uh, there is a problem um, in, the, in the standard network which we are using it. What is the problem is if we are connected with some fixed network, you understand, if I have a fixed network and you are connected, let's say I have a fixed network here, let's say this is the network uh, which you are destined to, I mean let's say this is the college, this is your college network and you are connected to this network. Now the problem is you are completely you know destined to this network you, this is a fixed network try to understand it okay so if you are using the network then that network is is in it is in the premises of this college only so now when you so the packet that is coming from uh, from the internet this is the internet so it is coming to this college network and then you request it then it is coming uh, from the college network to you so this, this is a kind of link up okay now the problem is as soon you as soon as you leave this uh, fixed network and you come to your home network or to your home the problem is you cannot use this network here in the home network you understand this is your home network so the problem is you are connected here with a fixed network okay you are connected with a fixed network and there is an internet this is the internet now whatever you are requesting from the internet it is coming to this college network and then from this college network to you this is the chain okay but now as as soon as you leave this fixed network and you come to your home the problem is you cannot use this network there is no possibility until and unless you you can have some kind of cable that is connected from a college to your home then there is a possibility that that you can use this fixed network then again you know um, uh, there is a problem in the addressing mechanism you need to change so many other criteria to use this fixed network at your home okay the, the first constraint is the distance the second constraint is the addressing mechanism and the third uh, thing is you need an infrastructure network at your home too so there are so many problems so that's why we need a kind of you know a kind of uh, a different technology which can make this possible that i can use this college network uh, at your home too and that's why there is there is a need and that needs is full this and that need is fulfilled with the help of the technology called as mobile ip you understand so the problem is i cannot use this fixed network at, at my home until unless i can have some mobile ip mechanism at my home okay then you can use it so now there is a problem there are so many problems actually but if you want to apply or if you want to uh, establish uh, this mobile ip uh, to somewhere then there are four requirements that you need to fulfill okay and the first requirement is known as compatibility now what do you mean by compatibility see i cannot write this complete definition so try to understand my uh, short notes uh, i had given you the ppts and all so you can check it out from there uh, i'll also upload it somewhere so that um, you can have an easy access on that now what do you mean by compatibility in terms of mobile ip is you understand let me have you understand there are actually uh, there, we already have uh, different types of protocol so actually I have a standardized so actually I have a standardized network already established with the help of OSI right I have this network in terms of uh, OSI this is the earlier network okay now in this OSI or in this standardized network I already have implemented so many protocols so many I mean I mean thousands of protocols I already have it now the problem is if you are creating a new network in terms of mobile IP this is a different network now the problem is I already have underlying protocols but now I'm creating other protocols in my mobile IP then you want to use it in the internet now try to understand that I already have one 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 network and now I'm creating another network with a different protocols and now these these two protocols are actually using the internet but now there is a problem they will going to be conflict okay they will going to be conflicted here okay 
So this protocol will not match with this protocol and this protocol will not match with this protocol. So there is a conflict in between the protocol and that's why I there is a problem. There is a little problem. I cannot use you know each and every protocol from the mobile IP in my standardized network to use this internet. So you understand there is a conflict between protocols, just like IPv4 and IPv6. IPv4 I, I, I have a, this earlier um, addressing mechanism, but now I have, I have an, you know, completely modern uh, uh, addressing mechanism. But now again, there is a problem because so many people are using IPv4. I cannot, you know, put IPv6 uh, on the uh, um, on the shoulders of IPv4. There is a problem, right? So that the same thing happens here. Standardized network I have, which is uh, which is already having so many protocols implemented, and people are using it. Now I am creating another network with some more protocols and I want to apply this protocol with this protocol which is already used. Uh, there is a conflict. There is going to be conflict. So that's why I cannot, uh, I mean I can use but, but with some problems. So this is the problem. So it is known as compatibility. So if you want to use mobile IP then your protocol should be compatible with the upper layer protocols or the, or the lower layer protocols. Okay. So this is the thing. Now the second thing is the transparency. Now, what do you mean by transparency you see this is the second requirement okay so i'm talking about the first requirement is done um, i'm at the second requirement what do you mean by transparency it's something like the need of mobile ip so the second need or uh, the first needs let me have so the uh, so the need of mobile ip is is invisible mobile ip says that the it says that a mobility let me have an what do you mean by mobility is nothing but a user move from one location area to another location area is known as with its with its network is known as mobility so mobile ip says that mobility should be invisible from the higher level protocols or from the users uh, now why is that so is because this is very easy to understand let's say let me create a, a scenario here let me have a sender here and let me have a receiver here now understand this receiver is moving from one location to another location and from another location to another locations so quickly now the problem is if i create this mobility visible try to understand it if i create this mobility visible then this sender okay um, then this sender is going to be notified by receiver that i am i'm moving from one location to this location and from this location to this location so you see apart from data it will also give you this notification so many times notified and notified and notified so this is i don't think this is a good idea to notify every time receiver moves from one location to another locations because i already have to provide the data i already have to provide the path or the routing mechanisms and apart from that i have to now provide the notification message of the mobility this is going to be a very large you know payload which is not suitable in the network so that's why mobile ip says that the mobility the user moves from one location to another location the mobility should be invisible uh, invisible from the sender so that you know this kind of notifications or any other constraints like lower bandwidth spectrum inefficiency should not be notified to the users from the sender to the receiver or from the receiver to the sender vice versa so that's why mobile, mobile ip says that the mobility should be invisible from the user and not visible okay i hope you understand it if you don't understand it you you pause the video again restart it you definitely going to understand okay now the third thing is scalability now from the scalability terms it is e easy to understand the layman terms for scalability is nothing but to grow or proliferate we call it as a proliferate just like algae proliferate the riverside it is proliferate proliferate it's hard to hard to pronounce it okay so uh, scalability says that you understand that uh, mobile is being used by so many people it is there in the car it is there in the home it is there in the uh, you know the trucks or the vehicle any type of vehicle it is there in the airplane and so many other places so many people are using mobile you see and that's why scalability says that 
we should have mobile IP or a kind of mechanism like that, uh, you know, to provide the services to each and every location. It's something like you understand, it's something like IPv4 and IPv6. Now, why do we need IPv6? Is because I don't I have a very limited version of addressing mechanisms at version 4. So uh, th this is you know just now I, I have a very limited version. I cannot provide each and every unique IP addresses to the to the users. I cannot do that because I have a very limited IP um, IP addresses at the IPv4. And that's why we need to you know change this technology to the IPv6. Okay, in a very similar way, it's scalability says that if you want to provide, uh, you know, services to the different people, then mobile IP should be scalable over a large number of participants in the in the world of internet. Okay, so it is going to be proliferate, something like that. Okay, the next term is the scalability. Now, uh, sorry, security. Security, uh, it's simple to understand. Let me give you a short uh, note on that. Uh, security as you understand mobile IP is nothing but a wireless communication and there are so many hindrances and problems uh, inside a wireless network as it is easy to attack it is easy to find so many exploits and vulnerabilities so all kinds of attack that is associated with wireless network can exist in the mobile IP but I will not go through those all attacks but let me give you the uh, the idea so the minimum requirement at the security level it is the minimum requirement is nothing but it says that is that I need something called as authentication nothing else I don't need anything else but just an authentication so authentication means um, if a sender sends a packet to the receiver then rece receiver should acknowledge that the packet is coming from uh, the authenticated sender and not from anyone else okay so uh, vice versa so if a packet is coming from receiver side or it uh, received by the sender then it should be authenticated uh, from the sender and the receiver perspective okay but the problem is the ip layer which is uh, which is a base uh, of the mobile ip the ip layer here is a very you know it's not a it's not an intelligent layer i player can only guarantees it only guarantees it only guarantees the receive uh, the, the ip address the only guarantees the ip address of receiver is correct or not it only checks it only guarantees okay so it checks that uh, the ip address of receiver is correct or not uh, it will um, not check uh, you know different other criteria is that uh, uh, it is uh, it is coming from the um, access control or is it is authenticated and it only checks the IP address of the receiver so uh, we have so many attacks on that like I can have a spoof IP address and I can send from the sender, sender side to the receiver side so many things I can do here so there is there are so many problems in security I cannot have a video on that but I will create a separate video on the security perspective of mobile IP or the wireless network so I can have a fake IP address here and I can uh, put it to the receiver side and receiver will understand that yeah it is coming from an authenticated sender so th these are the you know four requirement which is very important if you want to apply mobile IP uh, to some infrastructure or to your home network or any or any other place these are the four base principles of mobile IP. So if you want to create a mobile IP, then you need to check it out that your compatibility, your transparency, scalability and security is okay or not. Okay. I hope you understand it. Thank you so much for listening to me. If you haven't subscribed my channel, then I insist you to please subscribe it. Thank you so much.